busting my balls, Billy, okay? I can already tell that I don't like you. The fuck you bust on my balls? I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. It might be your first ball job. Yeah, of course. How long did it take for the guy to come? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Busting Balls. I'm here with the very funny Devon Dickerson, huh? Been a long time, man. I was wondering when the fuck you're going to come around, dude. Where you been at, man? I've been there, and I've been here. I don't feel like I see you here a lot, man. What do you, what do you, uh, do you what's going on, man? What do you, uh, what do you got? What do you with all these notes? No, I was just uh, going over anything I might say. I oh, yeah? I haven't had a good set in a while. You haven't had a good set in a while? I don't even Why? Care. You're not happy then? I'm that's not, that's I'm, usually when I'm not happy is when I'm not fucking having, uh, you know, and I gave up weed. And since I haven't been uh, writing too well, and I don't got any good shit coming out of me, dude, I think I'm going to go back to weed now. Yeah. Dude, weed's about to be recreational, man. What is that? Ooh, that's delicious. an air freshener, right. man. Yeah, we. Uh, so what do you think about that, dude? Weed being, uh, you know, recreational. You think that's a good thing? Yeah. What do you think? You think you, what's that going to do to like a black market drug dealer, man? You think that's going to affect black market drug dealers? Well, or you keep are, saying black, so, so no, you know, but like it's like black market. Like I mean, you Why know, you like like, like like black market. Not well, you know, black market. It's Why black. I don't say, think black market has nothing to do with black people. I mean, it's just what do you think? You think I'm I saying black? Even, see, I never even said black people. Well, what are you, what, what are you trying to <laughs> what are you trying to say then? I'm, I'm, I'm just, just saying the way you say black. No, black market, market, black market, like black, like dude, is it gonna affect like uh, yeah, it's like affect like neighborhood market. drug dealers? Is it gonna you think? Yeah, they're gonna get their charges reduced. What do you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> they might get jobs. They should. They should. <laughs> it's so funny how America admits they wrong by giving employment back. We're giving you your rights back. Yeah, I know. What? So, so you mean like how like they're going back in and uh and like expunging people's fucking records yeah, and shit yeah, is what you're talking about? Have a driver's license. Right? Yeah, because yeah. here in Chicago, dude, we're uh we're getting recreational marijuana come January, and yeah. they're talking about expunging records, which they should have, dude. They're fucking. I mean, that's one thing that that they'll definitely look back on and go, I can't believe we we're locking people up for fucking weed. You know, like small amounts of weed, fucking with people's lives for weed. Out of all the bad drugs, dude. Out of all the fucking bad, all, out of all the pills that are that are f- flying around people's fucking households, and they're locking people up for fucking. I told you, the, the economy of crime is too big. Yeah, the industry is too big. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna make up crimes. Well, I, well, like I've what? Been, I've been stopped five times, and okay, I'm gonna tell you about this traffic stop. Oh yeah, this was funny actually. Okay, I'm suing the shit out of Laporte County, Indiana. Oh yeah, yeah okay, no, I'm going to file some paperwork, dude. And just don't be that dude that's like, I'm suing the shit out because there was a video I watched of some crazy ass white chick that was like, all I'm ninety of those. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not- suing the fuck out of this school's district, and I'm like, oh, this lady is crazy. So so what? You think you think you could sue a fucking a what? You want to hear why I got stopped? Yeah, why did you get stuff? So my friend bought a mansion out in Laporte County. And is it a true mansion? Because you know okay. motherfuckers say they okay. got mansions, and Let you go and you go. I don't know, man. Like, what you call a six bedroom, yeah, ten like, bath? Pool, who the fuck needs a ten bath? Pool house, house, pool house, and it's not like no robust, oversized house. It's yeah. all. It's like this. The uh, the guy who owned it before him was the land developer. Uh huh. So he started off with a long, like, ranch, mm-hmm. maybe about five bedrooms. Jesus. And then he'd add a section. Yeah. And then he, so he added four sections to the point where you have Jesus, a courtyard. Jesus, like the fucking Pentagon, you but square. You have a courtyard. <laughs> yeah. No, you have a courtyard. In the really? Middle. Yeah. No, oh, he, he's got a courtyard like the Carter. Like, eight, you know? 80 acres of land. 80 I mean, acres. Eight, 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 eight. Yeah, yeah I must say. But eight's a lot of acres, eight, though. Eight I mean, eight's, I mean, that's, takes, that's way some, above. That's a, that's a lot of grass to mow. It takes for three days to cut Well, it's like a fucking tractor. You need like a real pull lawn tractor type thing or like one of those speed ones bro he's got a creek so it's like lovely oh, this guy's a baller yeah the reason i got a suit is is because it's one way in and one way out uh-huh there's no alternate route to mm-hmm. avoid you know like when you're in some of these places they have routes yeah as opposed to expressways like you so you're saying to get to your buddy's house there's only you like one main road to get seven into miles it. off the expressway oh really yeah in the middle of buckfuck indiana so they're fucking with people that are coming from that house too possibly his, ne- his next door neighbor said why did you buy this house mm-hmm. he said why did you buy your house <laughs> what why why would his neighbor ask him that because he's black Oh, and his name, it's like a racist comment. Why would you buy this why house? Why would you buy this house? Was he joking with him? Like, yeah, were they like no, hanging out, grilling and no, shit? And they go, why would you buy no, this house? And no, then they just laugh three about weeks. it. <laughs> oh, he's only been there three weeks? <laughs> yes. Yeah, wow. He, so he got a hell of a deal. He he. I used to be a flipper. I used to be a rehabber. Uh-huh. And I'm thinking about getting back into it. Yeah. Uh, just the times and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is like a mentor of mine. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, he's obviously doing well. 
he just got back on it. You really? Know, we both lost a lot of property yeah. back in the day. Mm-hmm. And so he just started getting back on, so it's giving me a little energy. So I go there. Sure. I go there for energy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you know, this is a, he's wrote, written a book. His name is Donald Torrance. It's, yeah. He's written a book, uh, The Hidden Entrepreneur Within Me. So, you know, mm-hmm. he's an author, all kind of stuff. He's mm-hmm. got a bunch of YouTube uh, stuff, and he's always buying. This is a $1.2 million house when he fixes it all up, and... Because he gutted it all out. He took a lot of the carpet. And Damn, the dude. Yeah. Is he going to keep all 10 bathrooms? Hey, man. Listen. Who the fuck needs 10 bathrooms, dude? Bro, no. F- he's got two kitchens. Who needs two Who, kitchens? Nobody dude? needs two kitchens, Nah, dude. you do, bro. You can get That's lo- like president shit. Nah, where you, you get go- lost in his house, man. He walked away from me. I was like, bro, don't do that. I don't know dude, where I'm at. That's a big ass house, man. I did not know where yeah. I was at. How many square feet is that, though? Dude, it's it's got to be like 8,000 square feet. Yeah, that's a big house. Yeah, no doubt. And it's got a full Dude, basement. the biggest house I think I've ever been in was 6,000 square feet, and that motherfucker was giant. And it's deceptive because it's, it's like on a... It's on a hidden hill. Yeah. Like, it's forest out. Yeah. So you can only see, like, one little section. Mm, good for this guy. No He's doubt. killing it, dude. No doubt. Yeah. You know, They're killing deer on his property. Oh, my God. He's got wild turkey. No you shit. Know you, you know you out there. That's baller you, shit, dude. Yeah. yeah. you just like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> Thanksgiving. Yeah, when you're seeing fucking wild animals <laughs> yeah, and shit You ain't never got to go to Jewels no more for your Thanksgiving yeah. turkey. Yeah. Right? They in the backyard. Okay, so you go see this guy and you hang out with him and stuff, and yeah. then what? You leave? I get my little, I'm inspired. I'm about to take over the world. Mm-hmm. He showed me his program and he's yeah. giving the shit for free to me and everything, mm-hmm. right? So I'm feeling good. I I drive out of this little route, route six, route twenty, whatever it mm-hmm. was out there, and uh, so I'm about to make a left turn. The police are about to make a left turn. Mm-hmm. They see I'm black. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they immediately yeah. make a right turn after yeah. I make a left turn. Mm-hmm. So they busted three lanes over mm-hmm. to get behind me. Yeah, and so we want to we want to two lane street you driving correct though man two f- ten and two yeah look okay yeah so he followed he did not follow me <laughs> we want a two lane we want a four lane like middle highway not yeah. a highway highway but like a two lanes on this side two lanes on that sure. side, right so he drove one half of a car length kind of like kitty corner to me the whole two three miles yeah and so that's a move so I find, and there's three cars behind me, three cars behind him. Mm-hmm. They're all driving slower than him, but I'm only in front of him because I made the turn first. Sure. You know what I'm mm-hmm. So he followed me for three miles. And Did you know he's following you? I saw him when he put, so I'm about to make a left turn mm-hmm. and you make, you bust off your left turn yeah. all the way to the right. That's the yeah. worst too. When yeah. they get fucking behind you and yeah. you know that it's like, oh yeah, but God, no, he, just yeah, he was on with. the side of me. Right. So I, no, I was just yeah. like, cool. I was like, yeah. I dri- it's a, it was 45 miles an hour. I stayed at 40. Uh huh. I was like, but he stayed behind me. So he had to be doing like 39. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so uh, finally, I was like, "Shit, I got to get over because there's the expressway coming up." Mm-hmm. I make turn on my signal, get over. Mm-hmm. Lights immediately come on because it's the last block of Laporte County. Okay, right? Yeah, pulls me over, and I'm just like, I want to hear what the fuck this is about because yeah. I know it's bullshit, man. Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. like I'm a speeder. Okay, sure. So I own my shit, you yeah. know, and I'm a former former correction officer. So yeah. You know, I got a little law enforcement, and I'm not, you know, super pro or right, anti. Right, right. I'm not pro or anti law enforcement. You do your job, just treat me fair. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So he pulls me over and he goes, "Uh, yeah, you were doing forty and a forty-five. Okay, so what the and, fuck's and wrong did, with that? Did you ever see that movie, uh, Super Troopers? Or yeah." That's exactly what they told the guys when they were high at the beginning of the scene. Oh, really? And they were so high, they were like, huh? <laughs> yeah. I, I but what's was... the big deal about going 40 and a 45? You're just going a few miles an hour under the speed limit. I mean, is that the illegal? Spe- the speed limit is the most you should be doing, I thought. That's what I'm saying. Right, yeah. Right. What's so, the big fucking deal? It's not like you're going 25. And I'm you're... doing 40 out of courtesy of you. Yeah. Yeah, out of respecting you, man. This is what he said. What? He said, you were in the left lane too long. Yeah. But I couldn't get over because you were in the right lane next yeah. to me, motherfucker. Sure. <laughs> and I'm driving slow. Right. So they let you go. Mm-hmm. But you refused to go. So where was I supposed to? You just wanted me in front of you, right? Right, 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 right. And so he said, then you did not turn your turn signal on 200 feet. See, that's 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 a I've heard this one before, dude. That's a that's a reason why they could pull you over. And that that's a bullshit. Rule. But li- li- listen, that's to this. Just to talk listen to, to you. This. Bullshit. Listen to this. Mm-hmm. 
you just busted a right turn from the left lane and you had no suspicion of me doing anything. So you didn't have your turn signal on for 200 feet. Fuck. Yeah. There so you that's go. what I'm going to write it up in. Yeah. I'm going to write it up just like that. You didn't turn 200 feet before yeah. you turned. You met, you actually had your left turn signal on. Then you busted from three lanes yeah. over. You broke every law. And, yeah. and, and you can't say you were in pursuit of anything because you were just following. Yeah. So you had no suspicion. Yeah. You didn't say uh, you look suspicious. But, or dude, yeah, it's no, so I'm, hard to beat them, though, bro, man. I'm going, I've been looking at I'm going to put some civil suit on them because I don't care about winning. Yeah. It's just I know I got to go back out to LaPorte County. And I want paper in case this, you know, like, I don't want to get stopped every time I go out there. Yeah. So when you stop me, I want you to know, listen, man, that's the dude that be writing paperwork. He mm -hmm. might not win, but everybody feels uncomfortable yeah. when they have paper. Right. You know yeah, 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 yeah. And you could personally sue them. Yeah. Civil rights is for real. Bro, you, so you could sue you could sue a cop? You could individually sue a cop for breaking your civil rights. Yeah. Well, it makes sense then, man. If I break your civil rights, I sure. can be sued. Right. What a fucking asshole. They it's do your that. job to protect my civil rights. Yeah. yeah. They they do that fucking uh, turn signal thing, though, man. I've heard of that no, before. I had a writer tell no, me. I had somebody tell me that one time, and I couldn't for believe it. So we can go to court. Yeah. You didn't write me. He didn't write me one ticket. Yeah. And then he goes, where are you going? I, like, I fucking hate. I said, America. I, yeah, well, I'm going don't like to that. America. Yeah, yeah. I'm dude, going to America. That's the, my I'm wife. I'm in America, and I'm going to America. Dude, my wife watches fucking live PD every Friday and Saturday, and when I'm watching it with her sometimes, and they ask that question, I always yell, none of your fucking business. Hey, listen. It's none of your fucking First business all, where I'm going. You, why? Why are you asking me where I'm going? That's the problem. Stop watching this shit, man. Well, my wife loves it, dude. Man, I don't know she what it is. She got crushes on fucking cops and shit. I don't know what loves it the is dogs. With, with white and Latino women, where they love dude. looking at police yeah. shows. Because if you ever look at the advertisements, the advertisement will tell you who really looking at the show. Really? You know, yeah, look at Think about it. What are you talking about? Look at, okay, the most fucked up show to me is First 48 Hours, because somebody died. To yeah. start the show, right? Yeah. And then they go to a downy commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right, right? They ain't, got, they ain't going to a Haynes or a motherfucking yeah. uh, sports center. Go, oh, you know. so you're saying women that are like... That women are like, are, women watch that show, man. Yeah, you're women right. Women watch huh? that show. I mean, men watch it. Don't get Whoa. me wrong. But they're advertising. The advertising... So that I never think about think that. Think about that. Who you're not going to look at the prices right and see a, a dildo commercial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to see a sex drive testosterone commercial. Yeah. No, you're gonna see old people shit mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's who that's who we're demographically never thought about it showing that way this show to yeah no it's about the money man yeah white women and women yeah my wife's hispanic dude she fucking loves it she loves live pd yeah. dude but yeah. every time i hear that fucking question i go why like stop asking that it's none of your fucking business where i'm going but they're building a case i told him i do not talk to you guys because guess what I don't even believe that you should have stopped me. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm proceeding through America. Yeah. And I'd love to proceed through America unmolested. Yeah. And when I said that, he said, you got, you got a problem with me doing my job? I said, I absolutely don't have a problem with you doing Dude. your job. Yeah. I have a problem with you doing your job incorrectly. Yeah. I say, because I don't want to get into it. it. Like he was trying to bait the of whole course. bait me. Oh, it, another so you time. you end up getting fucking uh, slammed to the ground and man, fucking. Man, I didn't got three tickets. Like, as soon as it get warm, man, these police come out like roaches, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I, I didn't got a ticket in front of a school zone. When? Just the last week of school, bro. <laughs> <laughs> really? The last week of school, I'm going through a school zone. Uh huh. It's a high school. Yeah. You, you hit them, they bounce right up. Yeah. But uh, I didn't even see the cop. Mm -hmm. But so he got me. I got to go to court for that next week. Oh my god! But he goes, he goes, uh, he goes. Do you have a problem with me? Mm -hmm. And I fuck? go, what are you talking? I about? go. Let me. I said, do you know that's the most baiting question I've. I told him this. I said yeah. that's the most baiting Good for question you, man. Because that is. Heard. I said. I said, do you not see the temperature in America right now? Mm -hmm. I said, just think about it. Yeah. You don't know me, and I don't know you, right? Yeah. And you're going to ask me. Do I have a problem with you? Yeah. You automatically making me have a problem with you. Yeah, no. Go ask that to anybody. And and another thing, <clears throat> dude, when I'm watching shit like this on TV, what they don't fucking realize, because my wife, she loves this shit. She watched this shit. She doesn't realize, like, when you get pulled over, it's already put you on edge. First of all, you're on a fucking highway or wherever you're at. <laughs> it, it's You're out in a strange land. These motherfuckers are asking you, like, irritating questions. And also... I mean, some people could be cool talking to talking to cops, and then but they don't realize 
that it's uh it it, it brings up your fucking anxiety. It brings up it, it dude, it brings huh? You're not loud. Yeah, I'm probably loud, you but it, sound, it's yeah, nice. sorry. <laughs> But it, but it, but it, but it, dude, it brings up your fucking anxieties, yeah. man. No, it like does. when you get pulled it over, does. people don't realize that it's fucking. I never had a problem with it. it free, it, yeah. But this this year, I think this is the last year of Trump. Yeah. Well, I no, mean, this ain't the last year. Of Trump. I think he's gonna get reelected. To be he's gonna get reelected, yeah, I think dude. So too. Yeah. Because yeah. those fucking clowns that they had, they they're marching out there the other yeah. night, dude. There, yeah. there's not There's too one. many of them. But they had twenty. Who knows? They had 20 Maybe once they thin it down, and then they go, no, yeah, okay, they, those three right there, those two right there. Yeah. But. I think this is the last year of Trump, and so law enforcement, I think, really took a hit when Obama was in office because, you know, he's black, and, you know, it's, it was mm-hmm. his time to get back for something Yeah, for black people. Mm-hmm. I mean, at least, hey, look, black people didn't even know you could videotape police. I mean, so think about that. And so where was that? Why was that such a secret? You know what I'm saying? So think of what other secrets, like putting paperwork on police is. Well... Yeah, but I dude, think- they were even trying that shit. Remember when uh, when when people realized you could tape police, and then uh, and then people would start to tape them, and the cops would be like, "Take that camera down." Yeah. And it's like, what? Take the fucking camera down? I'm well, not taking the fucking camera down. You don't have to be a genius to be a police officer. Yeah. A lot of people think they go to law schools and shit like that. It's not like that. no, no, they just not go to- everybody. I mean, there's some motherfucker. Well, yeah. now here in Chicago, they make you like have like a certain amount of credits, right? You got to go to yeah. Now you got to be a college. I think Something a college like that, graduate, right? maybe. Yeah. yeah, but you know it's just like, come on, man. Like I told you, when I was a correctional officer, I never abused my privileges. Yeah, and in prison, you could do anything to those guys. Like you could literally just—I mean, who they gonna tell? Yeah, but but it, you're gonna get on their shit list, though, right? I, no, I mean, if you you ever worry about that—that that, like you see somebody that you ever see anybody that was in prison that that, that you seen on the streets after they got out? Oh, all the time. They would get out. They would get out. You know, like you. Your, your release date is your release date so shoot it was a lot of times we'd be at the club and like officers oh would go out God. to the club and you know this day celebration for getting out of jail really yeah all, all the time man. and you never worried about them like people coming up on you i and didn't being like, i never had that karma yeah i never did anything that i had to worry about did you see did you see shit though like like correctional officers fucking with with uh inmates a little all bit all the time really mm-hmm. just being like kind of like being a dick about it where it's pers- like bad personalities yeah they well, shouldn't be in the job right shouldn't be in the job whoa just like anything else it's it's you know that's anything you got dmv employees that should not be the dmv i know there's this one asian chick if you ever go down to the water department in chicago to pay mm-hmm. your water bill yeah now when i used to flip houses mm-hmm. for some reason they had twenty thousand black people and twenty thousand white people mm-hmm. there's one asian lady that did not speak but a lick of english they had her as the primary person you had to the speak fuck to. would they do that yeah, i think it was a joke <laughs> I think they said she's gonna confuse them so much. Why the fuck would yeah. they? I, I get she it. She was the person that you had to register with to talk to anybody else in come that on, fucking man. office, man. Yeah. She knows somebody. I think it was just hey, they didn't want to talk to us, so they put up front. Oh my god! And they said, "Watch it." They, I thought they. I think they thought it was a running joke. Yeah. That guy's got breasts, bro. He's got yeah. supple breasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who knows, dude? Nowadays, dude, it could you know could be trans now, dude. <laughs> He just turned me gay. Yeah. <laughs> he got breasts bigger than my my girls, man. Look at this shit, bro. So 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 what, man? You you really gonna do that? You're really gonna fucking I, put a you, you think I'm bullshitting? You wanna yeah. read you wanna read what I was writing today? Jesus, dude. <laughs> my plan. I'm not playing. I just cause you know what it dawned to me. When I was a correction officer, I got rolled up a couple of times, you know, they they you know, it's just like infighting with anything. Uh huh. And okay, so when I was in uh when I worked at Stateville we had so much mandatory overtime Yeah. that after two years of being there, I had enough time where I literally could have took six months off. Damn. Yeah, because I was mandatory overtime was like if I worked an eight hour shift and they couldn't cover the next shift, mm-hmm. they say you got to stay. Yeah. So I'd be there 16 hours and I only planned to be there eight hours. Jesus. Yeah. It would be some days, like, literally, they they would not know how many hours you were there. So I could work a 24-hour day shift, go sleep in the dorms, and come back. They had dorms right outside. People were doing that? It was that much overtime, bro. Jesus, dude. They were understa- They always been understaffed. Really? Mm-hmm. But dangerous-ass job, though, right? If you make it that way. Really? I just believe you have a karma around you, you know. Yeah, but you don't think like people fuck good people up though, too, though. Where it's like, yeah, he's never done anything. Sometimes, to us. let's sometimes, fuck him up. No, I, I'm just gonna snap on him a little bit. 
sometimes it's next up on deck, meaning that yeah, the next officer come up here getting fucked up. Yeah, which is the scariest part of it. Yeah, but, it's just random. But I got caught in a couple of situations like that, and then when they see who you are, oh, yeah, but you're bigger though. No, I'm not. Not in there. I was very small. Really? Yeah, I was a 180 when I started. I told you that. Like, I, you you eat what they eat. So they cooking. We had a special cook for us, but if they have chicken, we gotta eat like ten pieces of chicken. You know what I mean? So, are the inmates making the food? That's crazy, right? That doesn't sound like a good idea, uh, dude. That you, the correctional you, officers are eating the you, food. Let me tell you my <laughs> let me tell you my wildest day, right? Yeah. One day, my boots was not shined up, right? Uh huh. And I didn't have a haircut. Yeah. So I was like, man, let me go to the barber shop and get my hair cut back there. Mm-hmm. Inmate cutting my hair for a pack of cigarettes. Oh, my God. Another one shining my shoes while the other one's cutting my hair. So but they, you're paying them? Cigarettes. Oh, you're paying them in cigarettes because you can't pay them in just cash or anything like, like that? Like that little cigarette. You bring a, no, you bring a pack of cigarettes from the outside. Oh, my God. That's like gold. And they don't get pissed off at that where they go, this motherfucker just paid me three cigarettes just no, for his fucking. whole pack. Oh, really? Packs of cigarettes. Okay, I see what you're saying. So I mean, they, yeah. the cigarettes weren't twenty dollars back then. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Five dollars yeah. for a pack of cigarettes. So yeah. I'm, I'm gonna pay twenty dollars for a haircut. So you're getting a haircut from an inmate. You're getting your shoes shine from an inmate. And I would work out with an inmate. This dude, he, this, I Why could back that? in the day, I could do five hundred and eighty uh, crunches in six minutes. Jesus, you had dude. to do it that fast to get the the top results. He said. What do you mean top results of it, like it, working out and yeah, stuff for like them? He, all your obliques and stuff like that. Really? I know you cannot believe 580 it. 580 like, it crunches. Like, so basically you start with five. You got five positions uh-huh. and you do increments of 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. So you start in this position, start in like the prone position. Then you cross your legs five yeah. times. Okay. Then you work it up. So then you go through the fives and yeah. you get all the way up to 25. So whatever that math is, it's ridiculous. No shit. Yep. Does that pay off? Yeah. As soon as I stop doing it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, so you worked out with him and it was no big deal. It wasn't like you're not going to get a fucking like a, weight dropped on, dropped on your head when you're working out with him. After a while, it's, it's like a war that doesn't exist. Yeah. You know, they live there. You work there. Yeah. You like that butler after a while, bro. Really, yeah. truly. Yeah. As long as you don't kick up no smoke. In, in prison, is there a lot of, is, uh, like when you were there, was there a lot of gang shit where you're like, oh, it's these guys are. Shit. Really? Yeah. Is all, it segregated yeah. where it's like, oh, the white people? Just like TV. Just like TV. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're not making that shit up. That's wow. a, that's how you got to be. Really? See, because if they all got along, see, I think, so slavery's for real, bro. Yeah. Like, like mental slavery. Yeah. Like working in slavery. Yeah. Think about your boss. Mm-hmm. Think I'm a landlord, right? Mm-hmm. The fucked up thing about being a landlord is try to convince one of your tenants to become a landlord. One time I had a building. Mm-hmm. I had a really good tenant. I knew I did not want the building anymore. Mm-hmm. I tried to give the building away. I would finance the building to my best tenant. Yeah. She absolutely, she actually told me I would never want to own this building. Why? Like she, like she didn't live there for five years. That doesn't make any sense. It's because it's a mentality. It's a slave mentality. It's levels of slave mentality. But why would, I just don't understand why, why this they is, wouldn't see that that's like an opportunity of like, this motherfucker is trying to find There's things that you don't see that you, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? There's levels of all slave mentality. That's what I'm trying to yeah. say. Like, okay, so. It's limitations, right? Like people that like there's automatic like limitations in their head or they don't even see the, the option. or. Let me, um, give you, let me give you the whole bait. Like, so for example, <clears throat> she was a tenant. I was a landlord. Mm-hmm. There's some guy out there saying, why would you own a two, a two flat? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't buy nothing less than 30 units. Then there's some guy that says, I wouldn't buy nothing less than a hotel. Then there's another guy that says, why would you buy any of this shit? I just buy the whole fucking uh, mortgage company. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's levels to slavery, man. I see what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Right. So in her level, that was the best, most comfortable thing for her. Whoa. Yeah. You really tried to get her to fucking buy your place, though? I swear for God. She just... So... So... This lady was so good as a tenant, bro. She would kind of like tell me everything that somebody else was doing in the building. Yeah. I would give her December off, man. Real shit. Whoa. One time she said, she's like, my daughter, I'm going to be a little late on the rent. Yeah. My daughter's going, my daughter's a straight A student. She's mm-hmm. going on a trip and I just had to pay for that trip. I can give you half of the rent now mm-hmm. and I can give you the whole rent and the other half and next month. I said, mm-hmm. tell you what, give me the half now and forget the rest of the half. Yeah. Because she was just that good of a tenant. Yeah. And that's when I offered to sell her the building mm-hmm. for like 
what I owed on it. I wasn't trying to even make oh a profit. Oh my yeah, god, no dude! Yeah. Why you just wanted to get up under it? Just I just get... was tired of the building, fixing it up, and you know, after a while, it had made me my money. I took all the equity out of it. Yeah. So I was equity out. Yeah. And wow. the rent was just maintained in the building. Mm-hmm. But if she owned the building, she'd be living for free. Oh my god! Yeah, I tried to convince her, but it's a slave mentality. It's not not that she was a slave. And so then, what were we talking about uh, before we got on that? Because that's... Just like gangs in, uh, in right. prison. So w- through the concept of slavery is, um, just like your employer, mm-hmm. uh, they don't want everybody... They never. Why would you ever make a rule, don't discuss salary? Because you, you don't want slaves to get to know yeah. that somebody else is making more than them, right? Yeah. Because it would be, re- be a revolt, right? Yeah, I guess you got a point, right? Right. So then why don't, why don't employers... It, it's like... So then in the prison system, if white people and black people and Mexicans all stood together, mm-hmm. think about this. It was only like 1,500 officers, but we got five, 6,000 inmates. Oh, my God. The now, numbers. 1,500 over three shifts. Yeah. So you divide that. Yeah. So we got maybe four or 500. Five, yeah, yeah, four or 500 per shift. Spread out. I mean, they're not all in the prison. Yeah. You know what I mean? So actually, wow. the, the numbers were way lower than that, actually. Really? So, yeah, no doubt. So it was like 5,000 inmates. We you might, guys ever have a riot? Anybody? Uh, every seven years, I told you. I, every I, just seven years? Seven, twelve years. They said, "Hey, hey, it's a cleansing of the place, bro." Motherfuckers get stabbed and shit and stuff, or what? Like when you when they riot, is it is it uh, like is it known that know. somebody's gonna get fucked up? I was there six years. I had to <laughs> you were there. Like, yeah. yeah, so you never I was were like, there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh I'm out of here. Oh my yeah, god, I I dude! Every seven years. Uh, uh, no, think about Chicago. Even so, there are only fifteen thousand police officers. Okay. There's over 100,000 gangbangers. Mm-hmm. If all of them got together, you could take over every city. Yeah. Didn't need the National Guard and the Army. Nobody's going to drop a nuclear bomb on the city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But that unity is what you don't want if, to control people. Yeah. Think about the government. Think about your taxes. Yeah. These fools are arguing over what to do with our money. It's the and they're not worst. even listening to us. It's the fucking worst, dude. It's slavery, man. Yeah. Dude, I was I was I was listening to I was listening to one of those Vlad TV videos, and they were talking about like uh, Compton gangbangers, and I, there's like a hundred fucking Crips and Bloods like fighting uh, in the streets one time, and uh, not giving a fuck. Tough motherfuckers fighting tough motherfuckers. One cop pulls up, and they all run. I always say one cop. You shoot up the whole block, but you'd never shoot when the police show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like why? Why is that? Well, how did you, to be arrested? Think about the word. I'm a big linguistic. Yeah. Arrest. Mm-hmm. That means you surrendered. You're under a temporary rest. Yeah. You killed everybody on the block, but you gave up to the police. Some people do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you gave up to the police. Yeah. Some you know people do. Yeah. Some people don't, though. Right. No, I'm saying most people surrender. Yeah, most people surrender. But you killed everybody. Yeah. You would think, hey, look, I didn't kill everybody. I yeah. might as well take one of these punks out, right? I know. I'm not I'm not saying kill police, but I'm saying yeah. if you into killing. Yeah. What <laughs> would it matter? This is the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. don't take you to jail. You know, I'm really surprised you don't like people don't ever attack police stations. You think motherfuckers would go in Terminator style and just like da 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 da. I mean it would be fucking stupid. I don't know how far you'd get. But you, it was really so. On Grand Theft Auto, if you hide behind the, if you shoot the first two at the desk mm-hmm. and hide behind the desk, is that true? I, I, I do it all the time on Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> really? <laughs> you you got to keep grenades throwing it. You got to throw some grenades at the door because they they coming. You yeah. get five stars automatically when you do grenades. That. Grenades, smoke bombs. No shit, dude. Yeah, I get that. You still playing video games? Just that one. Just that one game. It's my kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. My kids got me into games. I don't hate nobody because I'm telling you. I, I'm telling you, man. I had a friend at work. He was white. Mm-hmm. He was married. He was married. He was married to a, a white girl. Yeah. But he was a pussy. You know, like, mm-hmm. so he was like the female. It's the worst. Yeah. But look, he had four sisters. Yeah. They were all white. Mm-hmm. One was gay. Mm-hmm. One was married to a black dude. Yeah. One was married to a uh, Jordanian. Mm-hmm. And one was married to a Latin. Yeah. And one day we were at work. I said, man, all your sisters married outside their race? He's yeah. like, no, nah, not the gay one. She, she's dating a white girl. Yeah. I go, but your daddy must have been like Archie Bunker. He goes, why you say you that? You think so, huh? I said, because all his kids. I said, you a pussy. So you're mm-hmm. not the boy that I would want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your, your lesbian 
sister's more of a boy than she, you are. Yeah, yeah. And the other three are married outside the race. Did nobody act like a white man? So everybody he hates, they all married. And he said, damn, you are right. Was this, he agreed yeah, like that? Yeah, no shit. He never thought about that. He yeah. even agreed that he was a pussy. <laughs> really? He was like, yeah, you're right. I am a pussy. Dude, that's the worst, dude. That's his, the worst. His wife kind of like ran over him. That's what I mean That's the that. fucking yeah. worst, dude. Yeah, I can't stand dudes like that. Man. Yeah. Why do they do that? I got a buddy. Man, we could be in the car. And by the time we hit the stop sign on the end of the block, he's mm-hmm. telling his wife where we're going. Yeah. I hate that. I was She's like, running the show then. I t- don't tell her you with me, man. Yeah. <laughs> She's know? running the show, though. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't got a relationship like that. You're married, but you don't run it like that. And uh, But but there's there's people that run it that way. So I think people look at TV. My first year of my marriage, uh, my wife, one day, I'm a night owl. Mm-hmm. My wife's not mm-hmm. a night owl at all. Yeah. It's like she's comatose at 9 p.m. Mm-hmm. So one night, very early on, I called myself just driving around at night because I was bored. Mm-hmm. And so I come back about maybe 1130. Yeah. Not, not late at all. Uh-huh. And she's she's awake. And I'm like, why, why are you up? She doesn't trust like, you? No, she's like standing by the door. Mm-hmm. This is our first year of marriage. Yeah. And she goes, you think this is how we're going to be married? See that? Yeah, she's I go, trying to get you in line. I go, okay. So the other 364 days, you've been asleep at this time, right? Yeah. So what difference does it make if I'm here or not? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you're not a companion at this at this hour. Yeah, you're not available. Right. Yeah. I'm not trying to disturb you. Yeah, but you know what? They think that you're cheating. Their fucking mind runs crazy on you and stuff, dude. They're they're, they're the worst enemy with that bullshit, man. They hey. fucking they start to hey. think things. If you married a Their night out, friends say, "Oh, why? I would not let See, my guy and, out and, at and that, that time." And that's what I had to tell. I said, "This is not a sitcom." Yeah. This is not TV. This yeah. is not a 30-minute episode of Good yeah. Times. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. It's things not realistic. Things don't work like that. Yeah. You, you're, 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 I'm not nocturnal. Well, especially if you're like a night guy and she's like, I'm asleep by 9, 9.30 type of person. It's like, man, I'm, I'm up for fucking three, four, five hours after you go to bed. Six, seven hours. Yeah, because I, I used to be like that too. Yeah. I used to not go to bed at like 4.30 in the morning, man. I can't sleep more than four hours. Yeah. Oh, really? No, I can't. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's, things are chasing me in my sleep, bro. But some people are pussy whipped because they don't know how to like contr- they just control don't know. their chick, though, it ain't either. even about controlling. And, and not in control in a bad it's, way, it's but just to tell them to back the fuck off. It's kind of like. This ain't working that way. You got to explain yourself to somebody else. So, yeah. you know, it's just a. It's a trust thing, too, though. Yeah, I mean, if you don't trust me, we don't need to be married. So That's th- a good point, that, too. So just have that. Yeah. But I'm not your kid. I'm your husband. I know. You know? Yeah, but they got that fucking motherly shit in them, man, that just nah, they, they want to control. they got that TV shit in them, Yeah. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about this, right? Like, I, I remember, like, maybe first dates and stuff. Mm-hmm. You see a girl with a big ass. Like, if you want to be my friend, I talk about asses. So, like, if you don't want to be my friend mm-hmm. and you say, well, I don't like talking about asses, well, then guess what? You're not really my friend. Because yeah. I love talking about asses. Yeah. So if you're going to be my girl, this was even when I was dating. Yeah. It, not, I'm not asking you to check out the ass. Well, that's, the, yeah, that's that's like. Cause but don't take it offensively yeah. if I'm be like, dang, did you see how big? I, like, if you was with your, if you was yeah. with your girlfriends, if you if you had girls night out and a big ass, a, a girl with a big ass came walking by, y'all all would be like, girl, look at how big ass. I know. But for some reason, if I say it is offensive, no, I'm a human being first. Yeah. She's, I got eyes, and she's got an ass. Yeah. There's some shit my wife gets annoyed that I talk about, and it's like, well, this is what I fucking talk about. What do you want me to do? What my, do you want me to do? I, we, it's fucking. Mine looks at, mine used to be a, a car booty. I call them car booties. Mm-hmm. You have a Benz, you can't get her eyes off the car. And she go, I'm just looking at the car. I'm like, you oh, looking at really? the car with the dude in it, though. Oh, is that what you we think? That's toy- just, yeah. I'm saying, but it, but that's the trade-off. Okay, so you looking at them cars mm-hmm. and them dudes in them cars mm-hmm. that I can't afford? I'm going to look at these asses that you don't have. How about that? Guys, thanks for listening to Bustin' Balls. Devon Dickerson, how can they find you, man, if they, uh, you know? Find me in Lake County Jail. No, you ain't going to be in jail, man. <laughs> is that what it is, Lake County? I'm suing the ass. No. <laughs>